Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to fix PCSX2 requires APS to BIOS in order to run error. All right. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more such tutorials. Now, first up, just go ahead and locate the PCSX2 EXE. All right. Or shortcut. Right click on it. Now go ahead and click on open file location. Now in this uh, directory, right click on the blank space. Now go ahead and click on new. Hit on new folder. Hit on continue. Rename the folder onto BIOS, okay? B-I-O-S, then click away. Just go ahead and open up the BIOS folder. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up a uh, browser, okay? Now in here, just type in psbios.com, okay? Hit on enter and wait for it to load. Now, once it loads, go ahead and click on download file. In here, just click on download. If you want to download it all, if not, go ahead and select one by one. Okay. I'm going to save on my desktop. Save. It's done. I'm going to open it up. Click, right click and hit on extract here. Okay. Yours might be different. You might be using a 7-zip. Okay. I'm just going to highlight it all like so. And then I'm going to move it to the BIOS folder that we just created. Okay. Continue. Once it's moved, just close this one. If you just installed PCSX2, okay, you'll be able to see this particular UI. If not, just go ahead and rerun PCSX2 and it should work perfectly fine. Okay. Now in here under BIOS image, got to click on browse. Now, as you might remember, we have created BIOS. Okay, just go ahead and select the folder. And here we have a ton of BIOS. Okay, for example, I wanted to use this one. I'm going to hit on next, next, yes, next, finish. There you go. As easy as that, we just fixed the issue. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.